I'm Paul Galliano, and I play Ace Visconti in Saved by Daylight. What was the toughest scene for you to film as Ace? Toughest scene to film, um, I would say my introduction when I'm been passed out unconscious and then I come to. Um, I say that one because I feel like the, the pressure's all on me. There, in that moment, there's no talent that I can, you know, bounce off of and feed off of and like really connect with something. It's that moment that you have to like make it believable, not overplay it, not underplay it, but all those factors like, where am I? Remembering, oh God, what just happened to me and how did I get here? All those things. I think it was a fine line to walk of finding that moment, playing it the right way so that it didn't come across cheesier unbelievable so who does ace trust like you said he comes to so let's let's go back to that just that opening moment he wakes up and he sees everybody who does he trust ace trusts himself that's it he trusts himself and he is you know he, he trusts the person whose side he's on okay and that's ace all right he's alone okay well then let's go let's dive a little bit into the story what is Ace's motivation in the story? Ace's motivation is to win and stay alive. That's how he wins, by staying alive in this, in this situation. How does Ace change from the time he arrives at Leary's to the end of, to the end of this little scene? That's a good question. For Ace, um, he is, uh, you know, he, like I said, he trusts himself. He's on his side. And... I think it's nice that the arc of the story allows Ace to show a little humanity. You know, he does open up. Um, people are who they are and they're generally consistent, but they're not just one note. So that was a great opportunity uh, that you put in the script scenes where uh, I can be hard on Adam, but then I can be sympathetic to Adam. That I can, uh, you know, kind of annoy um, Gretchen or annoy uh, Meg and uh, uh, but then also find a uh, understanding with her mm -hmm. and I think the understanding actually comes just unspoken if I remember correctly how we filmed it so it was there's nice layers to it like that um, so I think there's moments and then and then when Ace finally opens up too and tells his story about his experience with the doctor and how terrifying it was you know, but um, I feel like that's how he changed is that he, he uh, allowed himself to show a little bit of vulnerability, hints of it here and there, and empathy and sympathy. Although, you know, his overall, in the overall arc, he's still true to his core, which is Love Wolf and Survivor. We're going to go to a little bit more now on the away from the story and back to sort of the game aspect for the, okay. game, for the gamer fan that views this. So let's look at, obviously you have your perk cards that I gave you. So tell me which perk would benefit you the most in this film? Do you believe out of your three benefits Ace and maybe the rest of the group in the film? The well, most? I mean, I'm going with up the ante. <laughs> All right, because I mean, my goal is to survive. And this increases my chances of survival as well as all the other survivors' uh, chances of it as well. So. I feel like that is gonna be the most beneficial because even though I'm the lone wolf, I recognize that there's aspects about us being in the group together that we do have to, at least for a while, work as a team. And so then that's on my side. Gotcha. Um, plus, the longer everybody else is alive, more chances that, you know, the doctor's going for them before he, think he comes for me. So that's the one. All right, so you've got two others there. Which yeah. one do you trash? You trash one, which one is it? Mm. Open-handed, get it out of here. <laughs> because again, part of my nature is the lone wolf. So I guess I'm not that concerned with the aura of everyone else and their visibility because I'm gonna do my own thing. Okay. Ultimately. Gotcha. Just around the set. Mm -hmm. um, what were some of your favorite mo memories of filming on location? Uh, having Dan there. I know everybody's probably mentioned him, but he was such an asset and just an awesome guy to uh, to be there, you know, to 
you know, offer a little guidance to, you know, entertain us with this pop and this on breaks and stuff. Um, yeah, there's that. And then in general, I feel like it was such a unique experience because, speaking of experience, it was such a diverse cast, not only diverse in, you know, ethnicity and uh, everything else, but also as far as experience and acting. So um, that was interesting to see everyone's different approach and to see how we helped each other out and, you know, inspired each other in ways. And it, it was cool. What do you think fans of the game can expect in film? I think what you've done so brilliantly here is take um, characters that the fans are familiar with um, stay true to their to, to the uh, descriptions of the characters, but also throw them in a scenario that one makes sense within the world of the game, but two also shows an entirely new take on something that, to my knowledge, has not been done in the game. So I think that's exciting. The last thing we see is we see the electricity of the doctor approaching the door, and that's right. when we have that final action stance. Yeah. Once that door opens, what happens with Ace? What do you want to see? What, how does he progress? Um, obviously, I want to see him survive. Yeah, I want to keep working. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see him survive. I want to see him. That's the beauty of it. As much as I like to do you know, good things and be a good person in, in real life, that, that's the fun of acting, is you can dive into a character and do all these awful things that you wouldn't do in person. So, I don't know, I just want to see him survive. If that means he's got to like, <laughs> throw a sacrificial, you know, <laughs> fellow survivor uh, to the doctor, then so be it. But uh, I want to see him, yeah, I want to see him get back to the table. I want to see him live his best life. Because up to this point, I feel like he hasn't. He wins at the tables, but he doesn't know how to manage his money well. He's, you know, he, he needs to really experience well. Well, who do you think would be the toughest character for Ace to watch die? If Ace were to watch, after being with them and surviving yeah. and almost escaping, but then he would have to watch one of them get caught and not make it, who, who would he not, who would, that, who would be the toughest for, that to, for him to endure? I'm gonna go with Adam Francis. Okay. And I say that because in the film, we have that nice moment where I'm hard on him and I'm like, oh, whatever kid, come on, tell us, tell us. What'd you see? Yeah. And then uh, at one point, I'm just kind of like, okay, all right. He's, he's just a scared kid, you know? I need to be nicer to him, go easy on him. And I felt like that was a moment where, and, and Ace didn't really have, I didn't have uh, that many ex experiences with a lot of the other cast members, but you know, there was Meg and Adam. Um, it was minimal with, you know, a lot of the others, but I feel like that's a moment where, for whatever reason, Ace found some humanity, you know? And sort of drifted away from the, the lone wolf. Exactly. Okay. So I feel like if, he, he, he'd feel kind of bad if something were to happen to Adam. Gotcha, yeah, okay. They, they had a moment. Awesome. What are you gonna take away from working on the, the film? And how do you how do you feel about it in general? The experience and working with everyone. Um, I'm taking away from it a great memory. A uh, lot of new friends that I made. It was cool because I mean, I worked with you know Phil and Randy before, so it was cool to see them again. And obviously, I've known you for several years. That was awesome. But um, then there's all these new people. You know, so that I see Instagram posts from every day now, Facebook posts, all this, and there's there's a, a community now. You know, because that's the thing. Every project, whether it's theater, you know, uh, commercial sometimes, or a film you're working on, um, depending on how long you're filming on a you know on TV and stuff, you create these little families. You know, and this is a this is another little family unit. You know, and it's uh, it's cool. Overall, the project. Um, it was such a great experience. I had so much fun. Um, it presented, you know, challenges, which I love as an artist to, you know, try to do something new. Um, and it gave me an opportunity to, to work with, like I said before, um, people on 
such different uh, parts of their journey as an artist. So that was exciting. 